Welcome to This Side of the Radio. My name is Shane, and today I've got a video for you on a Redivus RB17. Now, this is a FRS radio. Turned on the radio, one. I think you're going to like it. Let's check it out. All right, this is the Redivus RB17 walkie-talkie. It's FRS radio, so you don't need a license for it. This is the two-pack that Redivus sent me for a review, and it comes with a wall plug. It comes with the USB Type-C split, so you can charge both of the radios at the same time. And the radios are really good build quality. I mean, this is real good plastic. There's a 4,400 milliamp hour battery in there. It is a 16 channel. Volume on the on the right, channel on the uh, um, on the left, and if you get hurt, you can even summon some help. But uh, cool belt clip that actually attaches to the radio itself, not to the battery. The uh, battery has the USB Type C um, plugs directly into it, and you can charge these both, like I said, at the same time. But uh, really good build quality, uh, 16 channels. Uh, it comes pre-programmed with uh, CTC tones from the factory and the the tones for those particular channels are listed in the manual. So if you have another radio that uh, can program or broadcast CTC tones, you can actually program those radios to work along with these. These radios are going to be perfect for hiking, for biking, for you know just hanging out. Uh, if your friends uh, aren't, aren't ham radio operators yet, key yet, we should probably be getting them into the hobby. But if they're not, then this is a great option for them. It comes in two packs, four packs. I think they even got, you can buy 20 of them at a time. Uh, great for the for, for like warehouses, hiking, biking, you know, stuff like that. I've, I've had these for a couple of weeks now. I've had them off the charger uh, from when we got back from the hot air balloon. I've had it off the charger for a week in standby mode and it still has yet to run the battery down. I've done quite a bit of testing both around the uh, apartment complex and I drove out and did some range testings and I've got some footage that I'll show you here in just a minute. Actually, you know what? Let's go, let's cut to that. So I wanted to give a somewhat of a realistic test uh, on this Redivus uh, walkie-talkie. I've got it up on my patio and uh, I'm gonna drive around to a couple different uh, situations and just test it out. See how the, uh, how, what the range is. And we'll try to go like what the maximum range is and see how far I can go. but. But uh, let's uh, let's give it a shot. And I have the camera mounted, so I'm not trying to to hold the camera and drive. So don't don't give me any of those dirty comments. <laughs> okay, so I'm right down from the the pa patio, and I've got the radio set up. So let's see, we're about uh, 200 feet away from the radio, and hopefully we've got some audio. And these are FRS radios, so no licensing, no anything like that. Okay, so second radio test. From the end of the driveway, uh, this is about uh, 100 yards away. Mic check. Hopefully the audio is coming through okay. Okay, so I'm at the end of the street, and I'll get the measurement uh, on the video here. But I'm at the end of the street down at the red light, and... Uh, Hopefully we're still getting some audio. At the price point though, you can get a pair of these with the charger for around, I think they're around 40 bucks. And uh, with the high capacity battery, I think that's an awesome uh, idea the manufacturer came up with. Well, that way you get the uh, most amount of usage with the least amount of charging. So let me find a spot over here. All right, uh, audio check from the school. How does this sound? Is this making it back to the house? I guess we'll find out when we get back and review the footage. I'm at Castle Hills and 121, headed back towards the apartment complex. So, we're getting the audio back just yet. So, here's my final thoughts on the Redivus RB. RB, RB. <laughs> So here's my final thoughts on the Redivus RB17. I really like it. Uh, heavy duty build quality, long battery life. Uh, that was the, the two main uh, sticking points for me. The range was really good on them, both 
in an, an obstructed situation and a, a line of sight situation. I think uh, probably could have gone a little farther with uh, the line of or with the line of sight. So if you're looking for an FRS radio for hiking, biking, hunting, you name it, check these out. There'll be a link down in the uh, description. Don't forget the YouTube stuff, and we'll see you in the next video.